Here are five tips and tricks that'll put you on the right path to be a better woodworker. Tape measures are super handy, but oftentimes the hook on the end of your tape measure can be off by an eighth of an inch or more. Go ahead and burn an inch by starting at the one inch mark instead of the hook end on your tape measure. Don't forget to add an inch back to your measurement. So if you need 24 inches, you're actually gonna make your mark at 25. When you're marking all of your measurements, consider using a crow's foot, and here's why. Unless you're using a square, your straight line isn't gonna be perfectly straight. By using a crow's foot, you'll always have a point right where you need it. When you're cutting material at the miter saw, better technique goes a long way in getting clean cuts. Instead of just plowing through the board really fast, score the top of it, and then slowly push the blade all the way through your cut. When you need to make a long line just a few inches from the edge of a board, use a tool like Craig's Multi-Mark instead of making two marks at either end of the board and then connecting the dots with a ruler. You'll save a ton of time. Have you ever seen a tabletop that's warped? Well, sometimes the reason is because those boards were milled too quickly and they weren't given time to rest. Leave the boards about an eighth of an inch thicker and wider than you actually need them to be. Let them rest overnight or longer if possible and then mill them down to their final dimensions. The results will be a tabletop that stays way flatter over time. 